What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Electric Productions. I'm Jay and we are going to be taking another look at Heckpoint today. Now Heckpoint was a title that I just reviewed uh, I'd say about a week ago and uh, since then I've actually been contacted by the devs. They appreciated the feedback that I had to offer. They looked at it and they've actually made some changes already. I'm not going to say it's based off of my feedback um, but they acknowledged the feedback that I gave and since then have utilized those things. And I'm sure other people are saying it too. I'm just I'm not trying to pat myself on the back here because far be it from me to say that uh, I had an impact on this game. But in any case, the good news is, is that the, a lot of the things that I spoke of saying were detractors for the game have been fixed and improved. And I'm thrilled to bring you another look at Heckpoint, sort of an updated review. So let's take a look here. One of the key things is here in options, they've actually added a difficulty slider. So I'm going to go ahead and bump it down to normal here. You could turn screen shake off, which is phenomenal. And let's jump into start here. I was using um, Dracula. I'm going to switch it back though. I'm going to play a super elite Xeno Bear. I love it. I really. It may have a simplistic art style, but I really like the simplistic art style. So, normal mode has been added as well, which is something else that I said. Difficulty slider and having a normal mode where you make less uh, in-game currency, but that's okay, because that allows you to play the game in a much less frustrating a manner and go ahead and slowly build up your currency to increase your character's um, abilities. So here we go. Right away. Far less enemies. I can already tell a huge difference. I'm not seeing nearly as many um, of the aerial based enemies. Let's duck down here and fire. There we go. Oh, I always do that. I hit the stupid uh, barrels with my sword. So, absolutely, completely different experience here. I'm already feeling so much better about the fact that I don't feel like I'm just a victim to the game. Um, I actually feel like I can progress now and do a better job of uh, staying alive. Although I'm not doing very good right now, but that's my fault, and I feel a lot more like it's my fault. This is a tough game make no qualms about it. This game was never intended to be a piece of cake. Uh, in fact, one of the devs I was speaking with said he actually just wanted to have where you only had a single health like, hit point for the game. Uh, that was one of the original visions for the, for the title. Um, so they've actually compromised quite a bit to uh, lower the difficulty. And I, I think it's to their benefit. Um, I think this is a title where you can get better and after you've gotten better, um, add some of the different, you know, difficulty to the game. But uh, for those of us that are starting out, tag nab it. This makes it much more accessible. Nope. Did pretty good, though. And I'm pulling in currency every single time I'm playing now. I mean, I was before, too. Sorry, I shouldn't make it sound like I wasn't. Um, but all of these runs, I'm improving and still pulling in, pulling in currency and the frustration is so much less. Um, so devs, one thing that I'm noticing is it seems like a lot of my shots, and maybe this was intentional, um, but a lot of my shots seem to get blocked by the um, all of the, the junk that is on screen. And again, maybe that was something that you intended to do. I don't, I don't know. I am enjoying this worlds more. Oh, I'm about to I'm about to bite the bullet here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> this is actually now this is fun. So another thing they said that they're working on is to have, and I'm not sure if it'll work out or not, I mean, just because they say that they're trying something, 
you know, doesn't mean that it's going to fit the motif of the game, doesn't mean that they're going to end up saying, you know, yeah, we like it, we're going to stick with it. But they said something that they were considering doing was adding directional shooting in, uh, which I think would, would add, whoa, would add a lot to the game. The terrain destructibility adds such a degree of tactics to this. I mean, not unlike Bro Force, you know, it's not like it's a new concept, but I really enjoy what it adds to the game as far as, um, you know, using the ground to your advantage. I've got to die here. Oh, they're behind me. Down here, you. Oh, the barrel. Those barrels, they'll get you, I tell you what. You can't just go uh, go crazy or else the barrels will you'll end up slicing your way right through an explosive barrel and ruining a good streak. <clears throat> so, one of the other things I've noticed, and I don't really think there's anything that can be done about this other than having some ability to direct your sword or weapon, a lot of times I come down on top of an enemy and I don't clip through the enemies, so I end up on top of their heads and then I end up soaking up damage from them um, as they damage me sitting on top of them. Again, I don't, I don't really know that there's anything that can be done about that fact. Sorry, I'm sitting here totally getting sucked into this game, and that's a good thing. This is like... I'm doing so much better than I did last time. And yes, of course, the difficulty is lessered. But, I mean, I'm encouraged by how much better I'm doing. Let's see if I can drop down a little bit. There we go. <laughs> yeah, this is great. This is seriously such an improvement. Oh, looks like we've got some of the air-based, uh... Oh, 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 there it is! I'm gonna sit here and continue to hold my ground and try to reflect back as much damage as possible. That's it. I bit the bullet. That's okay, though. 1,290 credits. Awesome. So much better, devs. This is a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying it. Bravo. So, um, and then, of course, I mean, they're still sitting here making tweaks to the shop and um, to the different uh, things that you can purchase, and they're gonna, I'm sure they're going to continue to do that. Um, there's some things that you can buy, like special attack grenades, and so you have a limited quantity of those, of course. Uh, permanent modifiers. So I'm interested in seeing what we've got here. Da gun damage level 6, 7, and of course they all cost different amounts of currency. Now I have $15,000 now, which is really nice, or 15,000 credits. Um, so let me go down to my sword, primary weapon. Oh, and you can change out your primary weapon too. Very cool. Love it. Medi melee damage, 20,000. Level 1, 10,000. Oh yeah, I'm definitely buying that. And there we go. Melee damage increased. Let me go to the Halloween level really quick here. So, yeah, I mean, if the game continues to progress like this, I think this is definitely going to turn into a title that <clears throat> is enjoyed a lot, a lot more. Just 
the fact that I feel like I can actually stand a chance now at playing the game, it's no longer just an exercise in frustration, which is exactly what it was before. Man, that still damaged me. So, for me personally... Man, that was quick. <laughs> that was short-lived. If, um... If I had a little bit more control about things I could tweak, it might be the, the barrels. Um, but then again, I mean, you don't want to neuter all the difficulty in the game, and, and I, I get that, and I respect that. So, I don't know. There may not be a solution for the barrels. Um, but I might turn down some of the gibs, just because they do seem to block um, my character's shots some. Um, all the little particles that end up flying around on the screen. So, I don't know if there's anything that can be done about that, really. Oh, that, those vampires are fast. Sparkly, too. Oh, and that's it. I hit a barrel. Um, lost my train of thought. Sorry. Yeah, uh, the gibs and the fact that they um, stop some of my shots from being able to connect with different enemies. I don't know if we could turn the gibs down or make it where uh, they're in the background so they don't affect as much um, my my weapons and more specifically my, my ranged weapon attack. Um, I think having directional fire in the game, especially as you raise the, the difficulty and have more aerial-based enemies, is going to make a huge difference. Um, I like I like the progress that I'm seeing. I really, it's awesome. Bravo, guys. And other than that, um, yeah, I don't really know that there's much you can do about the barrels. Um, maybe, maybe make the explosive radius of the barrels a little smaller. It's just a thought. I don't know. Maybe mess around with that and see what that does. Um... Other than that, I can't really think of anything else um, off the top of my head. I'm just, I'm super stoked to see the game progressing the way that it is, and I really hope this ends up being um, a hit for you guys because I can see the effort and the energy that's going into it, and it's always encouraging to see that in a game once it's dropped on Steam that it's not just dropped and left. So, bravo to you guys. Well done. Thank you so much for the hard work, effort, and energy. As for you guys, my viewers, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. It's always a treat to have you guys on the show. And I look forward to seeing all of you on the next episode of Electric Productions. Game on, everyone. <laughs>